Um, but we're thrilled. This is, we started the um, I Seen You on TV. This is our third show, I think, and it's a monthly show, the last Wednesday of every month. <laughs> and the competitors are off. <laughs> Reporting for Katie Chats here at the I Seen You on TV comedy night at the Drake Hotel in downtown Toronto with Sean Alex Thompson, director and actor. What was the best part about tonight's festivities? I think it was uh, watching a lot of people that I've known for a lot of years uh, in the comedy scene in Toronto some of the best uh, of the comedy scene in Toronto going back on stage some of some of them haven't been on stage for a long time so seeing them going back on stage and performing as a group and and performing with Naomi and Matt and um, and yeah it was just fun to see that group of people that group of talented people all on stage at the same time were you impressed by their comedy skills I was I was I, I well, I'm, I've always been impressed by their comedy skills, but I was, I was actually impressed at how relaxed they were. That's probably a, something to do with Naomi and Matt making it very comfortable, but just how, uh, how easy or seemingly easy it seemed that they were on stage. They were at ease and didn't seem um, that rusty for some of them. Some of them haven't, I know one of them hadn't been on stage for 15 years, so that was kind of interesting. What was the best part of directing the TV show Satisfaction? Always the best thing uh, for me as being an actor um, is really just working with the actors. So I love it when you get great actors um, uh, together and um, you're, you're really working on, you know, there's, there's a thing where you can direct cameras and, you know, that's all about sort of the the cinematography and, and, and the placement of cameras and uh, all of that side of directing and that's fun but really people lo love to watch the people and I like working with the actors and trying to get the best out of a scene or get the you know or, or try to make it funnier somehow or, or um, improvisation within scenes and this in satisfaction uh, Tim McAuliffe who was the showrunner allowed quite a bit of improvisation uh, which is a very brave as a, as, a, as a writer for him to do that and he knew he had strong uh, improvisational actors who were able to carry that kind of uh, craft and uh, that was a lot of fun and I haven't seen that that often um, uh, on television shows where th there was a lot of that allowed and um, uh, you know we certainly did the script and there's some really funny things in it uh, but but there was also some great magical moments that came out of actors being able to just play and that that was probably the most mo for me the most fun for those who don't know much about satisfaction yet can you tell me what's at the heart of the story actually at the heart of the story is 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 actually heart <laughs> um, and I think in great comedies and good comedies they they need to be um, rooted in something that's very real and the characters must care for each other and I think that's you know if they do genuinely do that then they will um, th then that will will come through for the audience and it makes the audience m um, more attracted to the show because it's real and it's not just gags and it's not just funny lines for the sake of funny lines and that that kind of comedy has its place but um, I think satisfaction tries to be uh, straddle that sort of um, funny and weird funny situations but with some real heart underneath it and uh, um, you know uh, whether or not they've achieved that will be up to the audience but that was I think an, a real intent of it. You started out as an actor and yeah. then you transitioned into directing and recently you were acting again in a Fringe show which yeah. got best of the Fringe. Yeah. What was that experience like? Um, I, I think much probably like a couple of performers on tonight who hadn't uh, performed for a lot of years because it had been uh, f about 15 years since I'd been on stage um, and uh, so there was 
that kind of, um, you know, uh, nerves that one would have, um, uh, you know, about going back on stage. But, you know, it was such a great group. It was Sheila McCarthy and Dan Redican and lovely people. And, and, and um, maybe it was because of partly it was the fringe and there's an expectation with the fringe of, well, there's less expectation in a way with the fringe. It's more like, well, I don't know, you know, it's you, you, you pay ten bucks and it's and and you know, it's not like you went to the Royal Alex and you know paid hundred and fifty dollars or whatever for a ticket and it wasn't really that good. So there's somehow the the fact that it's you know everyone goes and goes. Well, we know it's kind of a work in progress, which this was. It was written by Dan Redican, and it was something that he was, in a sense, workshopping through the Fringe Festival as being the first sort of presentation of it. So I don't know. We you know maybe you feel a little bit like uh, it's not like you're not going to go out there and do, give it your all, but that the whole world isn't watching. It it feels like it's the right way to sort of you know, the right uh, entry point for a new piece of a new piece of material and uh, so maybe a little bit of the pressure's off that way but ultimately you, you got to go on stage and you got to entertain and you got to hope that people love it and uh, you know we, we were successful with it and um, yes it was best of the fringe so we got to do some more performances but uh, well for me it was just really just about getting back on stage and getting back to a little bit to my roots and stuff and and as a director, uh, it's also nice to sometimes keep your hand in the the other crafts, just, just so you can keep in touch with it. And you know, if I'm going to direct actors and 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 whatnot, um, it's kind of good to feel um, like like you're you're part of that community, not an outsider. So I always like to keep my hand in it, and I'd missed it for I'd missed being on stage. So it was really great to to do it again. And in terms of acting on stage versus on camera, do you believe that the two are fundamentally the same, even though the mediums are different? What's your opinion on that as someone who's been in both mediums? I think that you can safely say what's been said before, that there's maybe something about a camera, uh, you know, giving you a, a much uh, a closer look at somebody. and. Uh, you 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 absolutely you absolutely need to sort of dial down the performance, um, in the sense of it, it's not quite as presentational as it might need to be on stage. Acting wise, and and the the, the the way you get to a character and find a character and stuff, that's all going to stay the same. But maybe when you're dealing with a close up or something like that, you know you 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 realize that camera is right there and it sees all and it sees into your eyes. And it's harder for an audience in a theater to see into the eyes and things like that, which the camera can see, you know, quite clearly. Um, and it'll be a big fat close-up if it's on a big screen or even on your 50-inch in your, in, your, in your living room. But, uh, you know, that said, the intention of what you're doing and, and how you're uh, trying to, um, uh, you know, get at your character and, and find it, uh, that's the same. And where is the best place to find out more information on you and to follow all of the exciting things that you do online? Um, well, that's a good question. Uh, I do have a website. It's seanalexthompson.com, and uh, that's probably the best way to find out kind of what's going on with me. Well, thank you so much, Sean. It was a pleasure meeting you, and best of luck with your upcoming show and upcoming projects. Thank you very much. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats here at the I Seen You on TV Comedy Night at the Drake Hotel in downtown Toronto. Uh, what's the next show? The next show is August 28th and already the cast is crazy good. So uh, get your tickets, come back, tell your friends. Just join us here, and everybody, you never know who's going to pop in at the last minute, too. And a big hand for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for supporting Thank you so much. Stick around and have a drink with us. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. How does it feel to be here at the I Seen You on TV comedy show? Well, um... This is weird, for one. 
Because I'm not you, you that my other place of work I have this, but it's not the same sort of <laughs> pole dancing. Yeah, okay. Uh, very exciting here at the Drake. We're going to do I Seen You on TV. Very exciting. <laughs>